The next stop on the national event trail was Montreal, Quebec, Canada, and the Molson Grand National. In a real turnabout in performance, both Kenny Bernstein and Bob Glidden were defeated in the first round of racing. For Butch Leal, he continued his amazing string of final round appearances. This was his sixth this season. Racing against Leal in the final was Bruce Allen. The starting line advantage for Butch Leal was the margin of victory at the finish as Leal won his third race this season. In the Grand National Funny Car Finals, Ed McCulloch was considered the underdog. The favorite, not only with the fans, but based upon his performance, was the man who was making his 10th final round appearance, John Forbes. Forbes had yet to win a national event title, but this was his day as McCulloch lost traction and John Forbes won the Grand National. Top Fuel Eliminator saw the two dominant cars in competition, Dick LaHaye against Joe Amato. Joe had been in the final round of five NHRA national events, winning one. For Dick LaHaye, he was aiming for his third straight national event title. This was a rematch of the finals at the Cajun Nationals. In this case, Dick LaHaye was the number one qualifier, Joe Amato was number two. Another tremendous race, and Dick LaHaye won his third consecutive title, tying an NHRA record. And that third victory for LaHaye vaulted him around Darrell Gwynn into the second position in top fuel points. Joe Amato started to see his lead being eroded. In Funny Car, the big story, John Force. His first win moved him from fifth to third, and Butch Leal could breathe a little easier with a thousand-point lead over Glidden.